Welcome back. We had a nice start to the Easter weekend. Friday night, the 7 News team dropped the first pucks. The Colorado Eagles stocked in Thunder playoff game at the Bud Event Center in Loveland. Then we tossed pucks to the adoring masses. Sold out crowd. Bad news, Thunder beat the Eagles 4-2 to sweep the series. The good news is... We have a wonderful story on Eagles founder Ralph Backstrom tonight. Now, if he's not the most interesting man in the world, he's a close second. Won six Stanley Cups, the Calder Trophy, coached at DU, invented rollerblades, and brought the Eagles to Loveland. <laughs> Is that all? Unbelievable. Major King has this fascinating story. Number 14, take Ralph Backstrom's path. In the old days, we didn't wear helmets. We didn't have visors. We didn't have mouthpieces. We really didn't play for the money. We played for the love of the game and being able to live your dreams. You dream a lot when your home is the small gold mining town of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. You know, our parents didn't have a lot of money. Our, our shin pads sometimes were, were catalogs. Dad was a miner who worked deep underground. Well, this is my dad's lunch pail. You can see his name there, John Backstrom. He worked at the Lakeshore Gold Mine. It's one of the deepest mines in the world. This thing means a lot to me. And a young Ralph played hockey and played it very well. Junior hockey in Canada is pretty competitive. There's over 60 teams. It's tough. It's tough to win. But when he did, captaining his team to the Memorial Cup in 1958. Uh, we were on the Wheaties box. That's the old auditorium in Ottawa, Canada. Back from the brilliant rookie. At just 19 years of age, he was hired by the storied Montreal Canadiens. My salary was $7,000. And that year, my first year, we win the Stanley Cup. I was named Rookie of the Year, and I got a $1,000 raised to 8000 And that's the way it was. In the second, Backstrom comes down the left wing. During his career, he won six Stanley Cups. Only nine other players have won more. I was honored for playing in over 1,000 games in the National Hockey League. So After 15 years in the NHL, he went on to four more in the upstart World Hockey Association. Hey, Ralph being 37, he inspired our younger players. My best skill was I, was I was an excellent skater. Here's the thing you probably don't know about Ralph. He invented rollerblades in 1974. Summer, I can keep my legs toned. You can see my name right on there, the Ralph Baxton skate. I used to skate up and down the streets in L.A. and people would look at their doors and say, there goes that crazy Canadian. There were coaching stints, including nine years as head coach of the DU Pioneers. I think we had a whole the record of the most wins in a season. And through it all, an extended hockey family of celebrity. It's Alan Thick. This is the Rocket Richard. Here's Jacques Plante. He's the first goalie ever to wear a mask. Which brings us here, to the home of the Colorado Eagles Hockey Club, a team he founded in 2002. Establishing this team was certainly one of the highlights of my, my entire hockey career. When we started the Eagles, a lot of our decisions were just common sense ideas. Oh, here we go. At some 348 consecutive sellouts and counting, the common sense has paid off. Did you ever think this would be this successful when you started? No, our projections were averaging 2,500 a game. You ever look around this place and say, this is the house that Ralph built? <laughs> I don't think so, but it's, you know, it's been a community effort. A Calder Trophy, a Stanley Cup ring, a lifetime of memories. There's just one thing missing. Here's a guy I grew up with, Nicky Duff. He's in the Hall of Fame. Hockey's Hollywood Hall doesn't house the name Backstrom. I know my name's come up a few times. It's a tough uh, nut to crack to try to get into the Hall of Fame, but if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. You're a humble man. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> you guys want a beer? <laughs> what a great story. You guys want a beer. Thanks, Ralph. All right, in New York, melodrama's back. Nixon Bullsey dropped a huge third rock with a